a former protege of his in the shape of Gustavo Batista of Atos. Not the first time that they faced off in the black belt ranks, but believe it or not, Gustavo Batista came up underneath Leandro Lowe. Blue, purple, brown belt, and then made the move to Atos after getting his black belt and has been one of the best black belts in the world over the last couple of years. Leandro, the edge and experience, but Batista, pound for pound, one of the best black belts in the world, Kendall. So no guarantee about which way this match goes. No, this is really a toss up, I think. Leandro has the experience, has the titles. But Gustavo not far behind, you know, very, very high level. And, and they know looked, each other so well. When you watch them compete, at times, their jujitsu, the techniques that they do, there's no surprise that they have similar attack sequences, that they do very similar things. The difference, of course, I feel is more in the guard passing than in the guard. That Batista has a great guard, as does Leandro, but the, the guard passing, Batista is slow, he's methodical, he's low to the ground, mm -hmm. heavy pressure. Whereas Leandro, we know he likes to dive through for the knee cut. He's got the Toriander style passing. And that coupled with the left foot on the hip creates a lot of power on the right side of Gustavo's body. Also, we're looking at the collar grip as well. So we're really controlling the entire right side of Gustavo, although there's a little bit of a passing blitz there, but that collar grip really saved Leandro. And now look at these grips from Gustavo. This is, this is not a comfortable position for Leandro to hang out in. They're gonna reset back to the center. Take a look at those grips, make sure everything looks right. That left hand from Gustavo right now is very, very important, the grip he has on the pants. That hand in the collar and the way that he creates that long frame that Leandro Lowe, that's like classic Leandro Lowe right there. He does that so much when he competes, right? We, uh, we see it again and again. It's, uh, it's, it's key against somebody like Batista who wants to close the distance, who wants to get as close as possible. And posture here from Batista, very impressive. He's so low and he's already got his grips. He's got the right hand in the collar. He's got the left hand on the pants. Look for him to extend that left leg back and to slowly work through into the knee, into the knee slide. But Leandro's Dalahiva saving him right now. Yeah, that grip on the left pant leg, he is keeping really, really tight. They both have one, but uh, but Gustavo, that pass, or that that grip is really, really important to pass. He uses it to make sure that the knee show can't come in, that the foot on the hip can't come in. It allows you to really pass to either side. Reminder that Gustavo Batista based in San Diego, training at Atos under the supervision of Andre Galvao, has risen through the ranks to become one of the most feared black belts in the world with his heavy pressure style. Making it through into the finals of the World Championships more than once. So he switches that left hand from the, the foot up to the upper body once the knee shield is out. But now that the knee shield's back in, Leandro able to get some big overhead pressure from here. But Gustavo not enough, but so Gustavo back on top and we're gonna have a close guard here. Oops, excuse me, our, our scoreboard is wrong. 7.20 left in the match, 7.20. Gustavo not wasting any time. I like that he's right up to pass, not gonna hang out in the close guard of Leandro. And that left knee kind of opening up the guard here. Does need to be a little careful with his left elbow here. Um, as we can see, some Lampada attacks, some triangles with the elbows extended out that way. But Leandro looking kind of to load uh, Gustavo up and tilt. And as we might come up here with that grip on the pant. Now with the spider and single leg X combinations, a very difficult position for Gustavo to start to break these grips off and see where he needs to go. Leandro here is able to, uh, to bring that left leg across in this way because he doesn't have the foot lock grip. He has the under underhook grip on the ankle, which knocks Gustavo down, not to a sweep, but definitely off balances. And Bastista really trying to pull that foot out, but in the process, Lowe comes up and capitalizes on that, that backwards motion by Bastista, following the momentum, and will come on top and is able to, uh, not yet, or yes, score the two points here, scores the two points. But not out of danger with uh, Bastista in the single leg X position, holding the pant like this, he's gonna be able to use his right leg to get a lot of extension. Referee's gonna check in here, maybe adjusting the 
gi. Oh, yes. Andrew's foot was stuck inside the gi of Gustavo Batista. So unhooks that. Look at that extension that Gustavo gets with his left leg on the opposite thigh and his right foot on the outside hip. Going to try to tilt him back and forth one side or the other, either to get him to go forward towards his head or to sit back down on his butt. Now, this is a better sweeping position for Batista now that he's put the ankle on top of the shoulder. But uh, Leangelo de is defending well because he was holding on to that foot, but Gustavo is able to start to come up. Now they are back on the feet, and we're going to be reset and neutral. That was almost a very close sw sweep attempt there. Referee's checking uh, Leandro's nails or tape, something there. <laughs> Back on the feet here, some strong collar grips and some uh, some throw attempts from Gustavo Batista. A little too close to the edge. They're back to the center. Interesting when we see Gustavo go on this double collar grip. So now he has a left hand a little higher, but both hands are still on the collar. Angel Lowe does have the inside position with his left hand, but it's interesting that Gustavo goes underneath that arm and reaches to the cross collar grip. Cross collar grip we see a little bit more in judo than we do in jiu-jitsu because the arm drag to the back is a very big threat here, right? So we normally don't reach across the body that way. But it can be used for a lot of different judo throws, which we saw Gustavo going for on the edge of the mat just a moment ago. So it could be where the mindset is at. Clearly not a, not feeling too pressed to pull into the guard again. Well, I think Leandro, one of the things that he does best is he pulls on his terms, all right? Mm -hmm. Is that he doesn't rush it. He's so good at timing it so that he's, that he's into a position where he feels comfortable. And if he feels like maybe the guy's getting the edge in the stand-up, then he'll pull, but he'll pull into a, a good spot. And mm -hmm. that's, that's key. It's one of the reasons why he's been so successful over the years. It's true, and, and I wouldn't be surprised, though. I know Patista's looking for the takedowns now and kind of looking for some throws, but I wouldn't be surprised if he pulled because that sweep on, that, that almost sweep on Leandro a couple minutes ago before they came back up to the feet was very close. It was a, it was a close call. Back to that cross-collar grip of Batista. Definitely a heavy, uh, heavy favorite position for him today. And Leandro Lowe doing an interesting job at playing the edge. Anytime Gustavo is getting some better grips, we see Leandro kind of move to the edge of the mat, probably aware of the uh, the judo attacks of Batista. But you have to be careful with that kind of playing because it can definitely get you penalized. And we do see a pull from Batista, so I'm definitely not surprised. Nice grip with the left hand, though, to start this close guard uh, sequence off. They're going to move back to the center with the same grips. A little bit of a argument here on the reset with the grips, but it looks like both athletes are happy. Leandro in that same double arm pit position. We've seen a lot of people have the grips with today, but Gustavo uh, not wasting any time and has that collar grip with the right hand around the arm. So he has the arm wrapped and the collar grip, which is really powerful. You can start to create some pressure on Leandro's left elbow. And also just a great way to continue breaking the posture. Yeah, Leandro definitely not in a rush to stand up and open the guard, but Batista does the work for him, guards open, and I would I would imagine he's gonna be looking to get back into those same single leg X and X positions he, he was in a couple minutes ago. Batista the key to sweeping Leandro low is to get in underneath those hips. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the things that Batista does so well, but look at this. Anchored onto that angle, ankle. I really thought Lowe was gonna be able to kick out of that, but anchored oh. in was Batista. Now, that is interesting, because the way that he's managed to get that scoop grip, mm. and now he's added the lapel into it as well. Leandro's gonna have to be very careful here. Batista's in a really good position to start coming up for a wrestle-up sweep, or might pass it over and go for one of his trademark 50-50 sweeps. He does this excellent scissor style motion with his legs where he'll use his left leg to kick out. And you see it right here. 
to try and but kick Lowe out with the supporting the leg. Control. Lowe has that pan control on the bottom leg. He knows that extension yeah. is coming. Well, he know, he's very been smart. here before. He knows yeah, what smart. Batista's main attacks are. He knows how to avoid it. He knows how to shut it down. Gonna be very careful on the reset here, making sure we don't mess up any of these grips. Batista's gonna need a little more extension with that left leg, but with Lowe being able to hold that pan grip, gonna be hard. And only 130 left, Lowe really can't afford a sweep here. Lowe is not out of danger. You can see the way here that Batista's getting closer and closer. He's trying to roll onto his side. One of the things he does so well, he controls those hips, extends with his top leg. He tries to use his left leg to kick away the supporting leg, but as you mentioned, Kendall, that right now that Leandro's got a grip of that left leg between his own. But knee bar, possible Oof. knee bar here. Definitely a, a bit of uncomfortable rotation, especially with that lapel locking that knee into place. But Leandro's gonna need to be, com need to be careful and kind of keep coming up on top here. Oh, the grip's broken. Not out of danger yet, still 50 seconds. The, la the lapel grip came out. Leandro's looking at the clock. Manages to step his foot a little closer to himself. Might be looking for a toehold here, Batista. Batista doing his best to try and twist, to invert, to roll. 20 seconds left. This is so razor thin. This is a nail biter. Batista just needs to be able to come all the way up onto his knee, but Lowe steps over again. Not out of danger, up, though. They're out of out bounds. The legs. Now, this is going to be seven very seconds remaining. Interesting what the referees are going to say about this. Will as they far call as it flea in the mat? Because that was the only way that Leandro could have gone to defend that. So it all depends on whether they feel that it was a legitimate defense or escaping the mats. Gustavo looking very. Very unhappy about I mean, where that ended up, but it was, it was the so close. it was the correct way to turn. It was the correct way to turn and kick out of that uh, of that takedown. Wow! He awards the two points to Batista for and a penalty back. and a penalty against Leandro Lowe. Wow! Well, that has just changed the entire match. Oh, they've but no taken weight. it back. They've taken it back. They've given a penalty against Batista, Batista. as well for, I believe talking to the referee, and that came from the side judges. So this is even on the scoreboard. This is gonna to go to a decision. Whichever way this goes, wow. somebody is gonna be extremely unhappy. Leandro Lowe worked so hard to defend those sweeps, and yet was scored against by the referee. Gustavo Batista, his complaints punished by a penalty. It's a decision, and it is unanimous for Batista. Wow, unanimous decision for Batista. Gustavo Batista of Atos will go through into the final. Leandro Lowe's dreams of an eighth World Championship gold medal come to an end here in Anaheim, California. He will have to settle for bronze. Batista, the unanimous decision. And Leandro Lowe extremely upset with the turn of events talking to the officials here. Here's a replay of some of the some of the key moments from the match, but dramatic end between a former master and student and these two world-class black belts. Well, it was razor thin. Could not have been any closer. Literally decided in the last 10 seconds of the match. The officiating became. I see a, a replay key here. That is, yeah, that is a very, very tough call. I really, I'm watching that replay. I'm not so sure I would call that fee in the mat, but referees see it their own way.